Yeah, you guys know each other. Yeah, she didn't like you. Didn't like it. Yeah. 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 Good morning, my friends. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Um, special announcements. We do not have classes at this studio on Saturday morning this week. So uh, Victoria, one of our teachers, is getting married. And I'm doing like a little sound bath for her family. So she rented out, the, or for her like bridal party. So she rented out the space and then they're getting married. So. I'll just say nice. So no classes on Saturday. Sorry, it's an inconvenience. Um, other than that, I can't think of anything. I am teaching on Halloween, which is next Tuesday. I'll be here Halloween morning. Um, so yeah, if you want to come to Peru with me in January, let me know, and I'll give you the details after class. And then I also have Colorado in April. Italy in June. So if you're interested, all the info is on my website or you can talk to me. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to have a start laying down today. So go ahead and just lay down on your back. And as you come to lay down on your back, it might feel nice to just stretch or move a little bit. So maybe you want to take your arms long, legs long. <clears throat> Maybe you want to hug your knees in, kind of raw, side to side. And then eventually, invitation to find what's called constructive rest pose. So feet on the ground with your knees bent, but your feet are a little bit wider than your hips. And you can either let your knees fall in towards one another or you can just keep them facing up, but if they were to fall one way or the other, you want your legs to feel like your knees would go in. And then bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Close your eyes. And start to notice just that subtle rise and fall, that subtle expansion and contraction of your inhales and exhales. And let's take a three-part inhale, and then a really, really slow 10-second exhale. We'll do three rounds. So start by just letting go of your breath, empty all the way out. And then inhale just into your low belly, just a third of the way up, and pause. Take that same breath up into your mid-ribs, mid-abdomen, pause. And then bring it all the way up, chest, shoulders, upper back, crown of your head, hold at the top. Slow exhale if you want through your teeth for 10. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job again, just like that. Low belly, low back. Mid ribs, mid back, side bodies. And then fill up as big as you can, all the way up to the top, hold. Slow release, if you'd like, through your teeth, yes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last time, low belly, low back. Mid ribs, mid back. Heart space, shoulders, crown of your head, hold. 
and let it go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Great big, huge inhale. When you think you are full, see if you can find an extra sip, maybe even two. And then just open your mouth and great big sigh. Ah. Seal your lips now and drop into your ujjayi breath. So in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. And see if you can still feel your breath moving all the way down the length of your torso, all the way down into your low belly, your low back. Take your exhales all the way to emptiness every single time. So you can stay right here for as long as you would like, just focusing on your breath, noticing what's coming and going through the space of your body and the space of your awareness. If you are ready to start moving, Keep your ujjayi breath moving with you, flowing with you, and just draw your knees towards your belly. Hug them in. Take a little rock. Give your low back a nice little massage against the ground. And then let your knees fall over to the right, left arm out to the left for a supine spinal twist. If there's another variation of a twist you'd rather take, feel free. Take about three really big, deep breaths down into your belly. All the way to empty with your exhalations. Gaze up or over your left shoulder, whatever feels better on your neck. And after about three big, deep breaths, switch to the other side slowly, mindfully, intentionally. So as you come through center, you might take a moment to kind of rock it out, neutralize your spine, your pelvis. Eventually, knees go left. Knees up or over your right shoulder. Breathe all the way down into your belly. And if you would like, a hands-off practice today. You would rather not be physically adjusted or touched. Just give me a quick raise of your hand in the air really high. Okay, thank you. Take one more round of breath in your twists. And then come back to center. And just like before, little rock, maybe you even want to take a happy baby pose, or maybe you're feeling a full body stretch. From here, my friends, we'll find our way up to hands and knees. You can get there however you would like, or invitation to rock and roll along your spine. So take a few rocks forward and back. Make them as smooth as possible. So a little bit of engagement through your core. And then eventually you'll rock up, cross your ankles, and just roll over your feet. Coming onto your hands and your knees, you might want to crawl back a little bit. And then from hands and knees, anything goes. Start to move intuitively. So just feeling around. Cat cows are a great place to start. And then see if you can get a little more creative from there. Maybe close your eyes, let go of what you look like, and let go of your patterns, your habits. So rather than, I always do five rounds of cat-cows and then three breaths in a child's pose. See if you can get away from that and just feel, what is your body calling for right now in this moment? What feels tight or stiff or a little bit sore today? What feels really open, really strong. Just noticing in this present moment what's there physically, energetically, and even emotionally. Give yourself about three to five more rounds exploring 
And then however you would like to get there, downward facing dog is our eventual destination. So you can start your transition back whenever you're ready and you can get there however you'd like. Big, deep breaths to work whatever pose you are in. So use your breath to really create space inside your body, to breathe into those spaces that feel tight or dense or heavy. Once you're back in your down dog, friends, keep feeling around. Pedal out your heels, shift your weight from side to side. Give your head a little shake, yes or no. See if you can find lots of length from your fingertips all the way up to your sit bones. If that means you bend your knees a lot, perfectly fine. See if you can feel a connection to your center, like there is an invisible rope attached to your belly button that's pulling up, tugging towards the top corner of the back wall. Sometimes I also like to think of a seat belt around my waist and it's pulling up towards the sky. So see if you can feel that lift that comes from your center. So there's not so much weight down in your hands and your fingers and your wrists. Use your core. Take one more great big inhale. You guys look so good. As you exhale, look to the top of your mat. Step, tiptoe, or hop forward, fold. Give yourself a few breaths in your fold. Maybe a ragdoll pose, grab opposite elbows, or perhaps bring your hands behind your head and interlace your fingers at the base of your skull. Give the back of your neck some traction. Just like in Down Dog, imagine that invisible rope. It's attached to your belly button. It's pulling straight up. So rather than rocking back into your heels and locking out your knees, Try to keep your weight more forward, maybe a big bend in your knees, and then just focus on lifting your butt as high as you can, lifting your sit bones as high as you can, engaging through your core, connecting to your center. Take one more deep breath. Nice job. As you inhale, halfway lift position, spine parallel to the ground. Nice cam, get all the rounding out of your back. Exhale, fold and bow. One more time like that, halfway lift. So feel into the length and strength in your back body. Nice, Tracy, exhale, full. And this time, all the way up. So come through your halfway lift and keep rising arms to the sky. Hands to heart, exhale. Flow with your breath for a moment. Inhale, high mountain. Slow dive down as you exhale, forward fold, relax your neck at the bottom, halfway lift, breathe in, lengthen out, exhale, fold, relief, from the press of your feet, lead with your heart all the way up, rise, arms reach up, maybe gaze up. And hands to heart center, exhale, one more round just like that. Inhale, high mountain. So how much awareness can you bring into these basic movements? Exhale, dive down, feel your body from the inside out, feel the tractioning out of your spine. Inhale, lift halfway. Good breathing, exhale, let it go. Find emptiness at the bottom of your exhale, connect to your center from that place, rise up. Heart leads, arms reach up, inhale. Nice list, hands to heart as you exhale. Good everybody, this time inhale, take your arms to the sky. And then as you exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Roll your shoulders back and down, shoulder blades squeeze towards your spine. And if your tendency is to just reach your hands back and lock out your elbows like I'm doing right now, see if you can actually bend your elbows and suction cup your palms together, then squeeze your elbows towards each other, then start to reach your hands back. From here, so keep your clasp, keep reaching your hands back away from your body, and then sit into a chair pose. It's going to feel really awkward. Wait in your heels. See if you can pick up your toes and spread them. See if you can keep your heart lifted, your shoulders back and down. 
And then find a connection to your center. Draw your belly button back towards your spine. Feel that support in your low back. Awesome work, you guys. Take one more big inhalation. Stay for your exhale. See if you can sit a little bit lower. Very bottom of your exhale. Keep your clasp. Dive down into your fold. Hang out here for just a couple of rounds. See if you can lift your knuckles up towards the sky. If you're pressing your palms and that feels like too much, you can let that part go. Let your head be heavy, neck relaxed. Lift your sit bones. One more in breath. Very nice. Exhale, hands to your low back. Then release your clasp. Let your arms hang. Give them a little shake out. Maybe shake your head a little bit. Find your big, deep ujjayi breath. Inhale to a halfway lift, realign, lengthen through the sides of your neck. Exhale, plant your hands, feet to the back of your yoga mat, plank position. Take an inhale at the top and really push the ground away. Maybe come up to your tippy tippy toes, rock forward or to your knees. Exhale, lower halfway down. Chaturanga, hold as you inhale, push back up into your high plank. Very nice. Exhale one more like that. Halfway down. Don't let your shoulders roll forward. Don't let your belly drop. Inhale. Push back up. So good. Slow motion all the way to your belly. Find a sphinx pose. So forearms on the ground. Elbows underneath your shoulders. Or if you want, bring your elbows just a little bit out in front of your shoulders if that feels better. Push down with your forearms, spread your fingers and push down through your fingertips. Pull back with your arms. At the same time, see if you can pull your belly button in and up like you're trying to draw your belly button away from the ground. Feel that length in your low spine. Press down through your shoelaces. Press down through your toenails. Try to spread your toes and press through your toenails. Pull back with your arms. Take one more inhale. And then exhale, let it go. Find one more back bend variation, one more heart opener of your choice. Take as much time there as you'd like. And then when you're ready, downward facing dog. Big deep breaths in your down dog. From your downward facing dog, next time you breathe in, take your right leg to the sky. And then try not to move any other part of your body, but peel your right hip open. So bend your right knee, reach it out and up. So keep your hands rooted, keep your shoulders strong and square. Very nice. See if you can squeeze through your outer right butt cheek and imagine you've got a rolled up washcloth behind your right knee and you're trying to squeeze it and wring it out. Make your right foot active. Lift your right knee just a little bit higher. Push the ground away with both hands. One more inhale. Awesome. Exhale, right knee to your left elbow or as close as you can come. Keep pushing the ground away. Strong through your core. Inhale, back up. Open your hips. So just peel it open. Exhale, right knee, right armpit. So get as high as you can on your arm. Nice abs, inhale, back up. Open your hip one more time. This time, exhale, knee to your nose. Scoop out your belly. And as you are ready, ever so softly, step forward, low lunge. Good work, rise, crescent lunge. Arms reach up, no hurry. So take your time to set yourself up and to settle in. Nice pause, so hips square, inner thighs are hugging towards one another. So front hip is pulling back, back hip is pulling forward energetically. Your legs feel strong, they're your strong foundation. And then your upper body, it's your own unique expression. What do you want to embody in your crescent lunge today? What do you want to bring in? How do you want to feel? Breathe it through your body, in and out, up and down. Soften your face, unclench your jaw. Beautiful. Take one more big inhale, maybe reach a little bit higher. And then as you exhale, bring your hands to the ground. 
root into your front foot, standing split. So left leg to the sky. Take just a moment here. We're not going to hold it super long, but lengthen. So left leg long, strong, and powerful. See if you can spread your left toes. Hug in with your right inner thigh. Maybe wrap your right arm behind your right leg. Hand behind ankle, forearm behind calf, elbow behind knee. Very nice. One more great big huge in breath. Exhale, listen, knee to your nose, curl in, hollow out. Inhale, re-extend. And then exhale, step your left foot to the back of your yoga mat. Set up a warrior two stance. So back heel pivots down, cartwheel your arms up. Right toes face directly forward, left toes directly to the left. And rather than feeling like your butt is sticking out behind you, wrap your front butt cheek underneath you and feel your front knee track towards your pinky toe. Little tone in your belly, so navel the spine, feel the support in your low back. Good job. Next time you breathe in, reach forward like you're sliding your rib cage forward when you can't reach anymore. Just your arms have to change. Right arm towards the ground, left arm towards the sky, or maybe right elbow to your right thigh. Maybe your left arm reaches forward, bicep next to your ear. If the half or full bind is in your practice, you want to take it here, feel free. You've got about three more breaths inside angle. Keep your heart open. So rather than closing off, your heart wants to look up. Let it. Big, deep breath. Strong through your legs. All right. From side angle, moving into balancing half moon. So you're more than welcome to use a block if you've got one. Start to reach your right hand forward. You can walk your left foot forward, or you can just kind of use it to propel your left leg up. Make your left leg super strong, like you're trying to stomp it on the back wall. And engage through your outer right butt cheek. Squeeze through your outer right butt cheek. Open through your heart. Open through your hips. Beautiful, friends. Take one more full round of breath. Nice, Jana. See if you can end up back in a warrior two soft landing. Good work. Take a moment just to settle, to find your breath. Straights in your front leg, parallel your feet. Take your arms to the sky, inhale here. And then exhale, slow dive. Stick your butt out, reach your heart forward all the way down. Halfway lift, breathe in. And then walk your hands a little bit towards the back of your mat and bend your left knee. So left knee is bent, right leg is straight. Keep your right hand on the ground and reach your left arm up, twist. Yeah, spine long, twist from your center. Keep both feet rooted firmly. Lengthen through your spine, telescope your ribs. Take one more round and see if you can twist from your center. Rain out from the inside. And then end of your exhale, let it go wide-legged forward, fold anywhere you'd like to take it. A few deep breaths. So you're welcome to hang out and simply breathe, or you're welcome to move around. See if you can stay here, stay on your mat, in your body, listen to your breath. Ah, open your mouth side out at any time. Next time you inhale, come to a halfway lift position, fingertips on the ground. So bend your knees as much as you need. And then walk your hands to the top of your space. Rotate your toes to face forward. And just nice and easy, step forward, forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift position. Exhale, fold and bow. Root through your feet, rise all the way up. Arms to the sky, stretch. Hands to heart as you exhale. All right. 
We're gonna play with balance for a moment. So right foot is your base. Root down into your right foot, left heel towards your left butt cheek. So bend your left knee, reach your left hand back, grab your left foot, hug in with your inner knees. If you want to stay here and keep this as a quad stretch, maybe you wanna take your right hand back as well. Otherwise, right arm to the sky, and then bring your left hand to the inner edge of your left foot, the big toe edge, so you feel that opening through your left shoulder. This is where you can stay. Otherwise, little bend in your standing leg like you've got shock absorbers. Start to hinge at your right hip. As you hinge, kick foot into hand, pull hand back into foot. Maybe lift your heart like you're doing a little cobra pose with your heart. Hug in with your inner thighs. Tone through your lowest, deepest abdominals, navel to spine. Yes, couple more rounds. Good work, you guys. Awesome job. See if you can come slowly back to a high mountain, arms to the sky, both feet to the ground. If it didn't happen slowly, no big deal. So stand on your mat. High mountain pose. Spiral your, or, uh, your pinky fingers in. And then let your shoulders just kind of melt down away from your ears. Feel into a neutral pelvis, neutral spine. Feel your big, slow, steady breaths. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, just take it down, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, lengthen out. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, plank. Pause, right hand is your foundation, side plank. Roll onto the baby toe edge of your right foot, left arm to the sky. If you want, you can always bring your right knee or your right forearm down, find your own variation that works best for you. Lift your hips really high. So if your bottom knee is not on the ground, focus on lifting your hips as high as you can to get out of your wrist and your shoulder. Yes, maybe left arm forward, maybe left leg floats up. Soften around the pose, soften your face. One last breath. End of your exhale, plank or modified plank. Inhale at the top, push the ground away, find your strength. Exhale, lower slowly. Back bend of your choice. Take as much time there as you would like. And then just for a moment, sit back into a child's pose. Give yourself a little rest. So hips to heels, forehead to your mat. You might even reach your hands back towards your heels or any other variation that calls to you. Sometimes I like to just roll my forehead side to side against the ground. Just take a moment to really feel your body. Right side versus left side. Reconnect to your slow, deep breaths. And then downward facing dog. With your next great big inhale, take your left leg to the sky. And then try not to move any other part of your body as you peel your left hip open. So bend your left knee, reach it out and up. It's like your left hip is a hinge on a door and your left leg is the door. It just swings open. Yes, keep pressing through all of your fingertips. Stay strong through both shoulders and keep lifting from your center. Take one more big inhale, active through your left foot. Nice, Colleen. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, or as close as you can come. Inhale, back up, peel your hip open. So start to really articulate through your hip joint. Exhale, left to left, as high as you can get on your left arm. Awesome, Paul, back up. Open your hip, peel it open. Last time, knee to your nose, scoop out your belly, round your spine, then step forward softly. 
crescent lunge, no rush. Rise up, settle in, find your breath. So hip square. It's like you want to plug the femur bones into the hip socket. So energetically pull front hip back, back hip forward. Nice, Jane. Feel that tone in your belly. It's your lowest, deepest abdominals. It's called your transverse abdominus, supporting your low back. So as you draw your belly button in and up, you want to feel support in your low back and even some length in your low back. Heart is lifted. Maybe you're looking up. Maybe you're spreading your fingers really actively, or maybe today you want to soften through your hands. So what do you want to embody in your pose? Feel into it and breathe into it. Beautiful, Tracy, one more big inhale here. Nice job, you guys. Exhale, bring your hands to the ground. And then standing splits is what we've got next. So left foot roots down, right leg floats up. Take a moment to stretch and lengthen out. Yeah, spread through your right toes. Relax your neck just like you would do in a forward fold. And then if you want, left arm behind left leg, hand behind ankle, forearm behind calf, elbow behind knee. Use that as leverage. Press arm into leg, leg into arm. Dive a little deeper, fold a little further. Take one more big, huge inhale. Exhale, right knee to your nose. So curl into a little ball, balanced on your left foot. Get small and compact. Inhale, re-extend, get long. And then step your right foot all the way back. Set up a warrior two stance and rise when you're ready. Good work, nice job. So left knee is tracking towards your pinky toe rather than collapsing inward. Left butt cheek is wrapping underneath you. Tone your belly to support your low back. Inhale, reach forward, slide your rib cage forward, reach, 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 and then tip it over, side angle. So about four or five rounds inside angle. Find your own variation or stay where you're at and breathe. Heart is open, hips are open, shoulders are open. Feel your breath moving all the way down into your low belly. Feel your feet rooting strongly into the ground. Nice job, everybody. From your side angle, in your next breath or two, start transitioning into your balance. You're balancing half moon. So feel free to take a block with you under your left hand if you want to. Reach forward, float your back foot up. Awesome, Liz. Imagine you're karate kicking with your right foot and your right leg just got frozen in space. So it's so strong, it's supporting itself. Heart is open, hips are open. Squeeze through your outer left butt cheek. It's your medial glute. For some reason, it's so hard for us to engage this muscle. See if you can start to feel it. Nice, Trace. Awesome, Jana. Take one last huge breath wherever you are at your personal fullest expression. Good, Jane. And then come back, warrior two. Soft landing, maybe. <laughs> Take a moment, settle back in, find your breath. All right, straighten your front leg, parallel your feet, arms to the sky, inhale here. And then exhale, slow dive, stick your butt out, dive down, forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. So fingertips on the ground and start to crawl your hands a little bit towards the back of your mat. Not a lot. Bend your right knee, your back knee. All of your toes are still facing forward. Both feet are still flat on the ground. Left hand stays down, right arm up, twist. So left hand under your left shoulder, right arm to the sky. Lengthen through your spine. Yeah, use the leverage of your feet pressing down. Use the leverage of your left hand pressing down. Work your twist. Breathe down into low belly, low back. As you exhale, find that ringing out sensation. One last round. Really nice, everyone. End of your exhale. Let it go. Ha, ah, wide-legged forward fold anywhere you'd like to take it or just breathe and hold. So it's all you, stay in your body, stay with your breath. All 
Ah, oh, side out your mouth anytime. Last couple of rounds. Next time you breathe in, come back to your halfway lift position and walk your hands to the top of your space. Rotate your toes to face forward. You're back in a low lunge and then just step your back foot forward. You'll be in a forward fold at the top of your yoga mat. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Root through your feet all the way to stand. Arms reach up, big stretch. Hands to heart, exhale. All right, preparing for a balance on our left foot. So all your weight comes into your left foot. Bend right knee, heel towards your butt. Reach your right hand back, find your foot. Once you've got it, Come back into alignment, so hug in. It's like you're zipping a zipper up through your midline. If you want to stay with this quad stretch, you might take your left arm back as well. Grab hold of your foot. Otherwise, left arm to the sky. Moving toward dancer, right hand to the inside edge of your right foot, the big toe edge. Keep hugging in with your inner thighs. Find your shock absorbers in your left leg, and then start to hinge at your left hip as you kick foot in the hand. Pull hand back in the foot. Lift through your heart. Use your mid and upper back strength to open your heart up. Hug in with your inner thighs. Hips stay square. Two more rounds. Soft face, soft jaw, soft forehead. See if you can come into a high mountain pose slowly. Both feet on the ground, both arms to the sky. Spiral your pinky fingers in. Feel into a more neutral pelvis, neutral spine. Maybe close your eyes and see if you can feel that from the inside. If your arms are burning right now, breathe up into your fingertips. One more big inhale. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Good job. Halfway lift. Breathe in and lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back. Plank pose. Pause in your plank. Side plank, Vashistasana, left hand is your base. Roll onto the baby toe edge of left foot, or left knee can come down to modify, left forearm could come down to modify. And modify doesn't mean it's less than, it just means you're making it work for your body today. So please listen to your own body, give yourself what you need. Maybe reach right arm forward or float right leg up. So your personal fullest expression. Awesome, Colleen, take one last huge breath. Very nice, my friends. End of your exhale, plank or modified plank. Inhale at the top, push the ground away, find your strength. Exhale, lower slowly. Take your time, back bend of your choice, lift your heart. And then once again, child's pose, just rest back. Give your weight to the ground. Really let yourself be held. Notice all the sensations, all the energy inside of you. Couple more breaths. And then downward facing dog. all right from your dog pose inhale your right leg to the sky open up your right hip perfect place to stay or option to flip your dog if you want to right foot comes down behind right arm forward Heart forward. Yes, lift your hips, back muscles strong, hugging around your spine. Nice, Liz, take one more round. Awesome abs, and then come back. Everybody, see if you can find a three-legged down dog with your hips square. So take a moment to adjust and feel that big difference. Right leg long, strong, and powerful. Inner thighs face each other. One more in-breath. 
Good work. Exhale, step your right foot to the top of your space. You're in a low lunge. Stay low, add a twist, left hand on the ground, right arm to the sky, revolve lunge. You're welcome to use a block under your left hand or lift to left fingertips. See if you can keep your legs strong, especially your back leg. So try not to sink into your back leg, but keep your hips nice and level and then twist from your center, breathe down into your belly. Good, take two more rounds, working your twist from the inside out. Softening around your hard edges, end of your next exhalation. Let it go. Bring your hands to the inside of your right foot. Walk your right foot out to the width of your yoga mat. Bring your back knee down. And just for a second, straighten your front leg. Flex your right toes. Sit your hips back. So you can stay here as long as you'd like, kind of working that length in your right leg. I know it feels funky that your right foot is wide. Pull your right butt cheek back. And then whenever you're ready, we're coming forward and working into our hip. So our outer right hip is what we're going for here. You can lift your hips, lower your heart, or if you'd rather, you can lower your hips. So back knee down, let your hips move towards the ground and lift your heart. That'll give you a stretch as well in the front of your left hip. So left hip flexors. So you do you, yeah, and if you like that hamstring stretch, you wanna stay there longer, stay there as long as you would like. Wherever you choose to be, use your breath to soften around the pose. So we don't hold these poses so we can get really tense and really anxious. We hold them so our bodies can soften and relax around them. So use your big spacious inhales. Maybe your open mouth exhales. Ah, tell your body it's okay, you can relax. Take about three more, you guys are doing so good. I know this is not a comfortable pose for 90% of human beings. One last round, huge inhalation. Side out your mouth if you want. Ah. If you're not already up on your hands, come back up onto your hands, stack them under your shoulders. If your knee is on the ground, lift it up and then work your right foot all the way back so you'll be in a plank position. From your plank, come down to your forearms, forearm plank, find your strength, draw your belly button in and up, press down through your forearms, hug in with your upper arms. From here, walk your toes towards your elbows. Come into dolphin pose. Five breaths in dolphin. Anywhere you want to go. You can lift one leg and then the other. You can take little hot squirts forearm stand. Keep hugging in with your elbows and your upper arms. Get your hips as high as possible. So imagine that rope is attached to your belly button. It's pulling straight up towards the ceiling. See if you can relax your neck. And gaze back behind you. Press your heart back. Good job. Take one or two more rounds. You have so much more strength than your mind tells you you do. I promise. Ah, end of your next exhale. Knees come down. Take a resting pose of your choice. So child's embryo heroes. You can lay flat on your belly if you want. Just give yourself a moment to feel... Bless you. And downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. 
And then open up your hip, bend your knee, peel it open. Great place to stay. Option to flip your dog if you would like. Left foot comes down, left arm forward, heart forward. So your heart wants to look at this front wall. See if you can let it. Awesome, Tracy. Lift your hips, breathe all the way down into your belly. And then everybody, three-legged down dog, square hips. See if you can feel the big difference. Awesome, Cam. So inner thighs face each other. Left leg strong and powerful. Nice abs. One more big inhale here. Slowly, softly, left foot steps through, low lunge. And then twisted or revolve lunge. So right hand on the ground, left arm to the sky. Nice pause. So legs are strong, especially your back leg press through your back toes. And imagine the power of the pose is coming out of your back foot moving through your back leg and then connecting to your center. Pull your front hip back, but imagine your front knee is magnetized to your right armpit. Breathe down into your belly, work your twist from the inside, last couple of rounds. Ah. And of your next exhale, let it go. Hands to the inside of your left foot, walk your left foot out to the width of your yoga mat. Bring your back knee down. And then just for a moment, Straighten your front leg as you move your hips back towards your heel. So it's like a half screaming toe pose with your right leg. Hamstring stretch with your left. Pull your left butt cheek back, back, back. You can hold here for as long as you want, as long as this feels good to you, skillful. This is where you want to stay. That's also just fine. Otherwise, start to come forward, working into our hips. So your options are back knee stays down, hips move down, heart lifts up. It's like you're trying to do a cobra pose with your heart. Or you can do the opposite. Hips lift up, heart melts down. Keep your front knee on top of or behind your ankle. So it's not bad to let your knee come forward of your ankle, but it just moves the mobility into your knee and your ankle rather than your hip. Encourage your weight to the left and forward rather than collapsing over to your right. Nice, Jane. Big deep breaths. Ah. See if you can just be with sensation. So rather than trying to distract yourself with something else, let yourself just feel. Let yourself be uncomfortable knowing that it's only temporary. And breathe into it, soften around it. Take about two or three more. Oh, you guys are doing so good. All right, my friends, one last huge breath. Fill up as big as you can. See if there's an extra sip at the top. And then big open mouth sigh. Oh, rise back up to your hands if you're not there already. Stack them under your shoulders. Lift your back knee off the ground. Work your left foot back. You'll be in a plank position. So find high plank. And then from your high plank, one arm at a time, come down to your forearms, forearm plank. Find your strength in your forearm plank. Navel to spine. Hug in with your upper arms, press down through your forearms, start to walk your toes towards your elbows. One more dolphin pose. Don't let your elbows drift apart. Don't let your head touch the ground. Hips so, so high. So imagine that rope, it's pulling straight up on your belly button. You can stay right where you're at and simply breathe. Or if you want, you're welcome to play. Relax your neck. Press your heart back and lift your hips up. Take two more rounds. Really nice, you guys. I know it's hard. You're so much stronger than your mind would ever want you to know. Use that inner strength. Use your breath. One last round. End of your exhale. Bring your knees down. Sit back and rest.
And in your next couple rounds, my friends, downward facing dog. Great, big inhale into your down dog. Exhale, look to the top of your space, step or hop, forward fold. Halfway lift as you breathe in, lots of length. Exhale, let it go. Ah. Root through your feet all the way up, arms to the sky, stretch. Hands to heart, exhale. All right, we're moving into one more balance. This is twisted dancer pose. So right foot is your base, bend your left knee, heel towards your butt, and then reach your right hand back this time to grab your left foot. So you might have to go kind of ski wampus to get hold of your foot, but then come back into alignment, right shoulder back and down, inner knees hug in, left arm to the sky. If you want to stay here and just get the quad stretch, perfectly fine with me. Otherwise, shock absorbers in your right knee. Start to hinge at your right hip. Kick foot into hand. Pull hand back into foot. Hug in with your inner thighs. Stay square through your chest and your shoulders. Lift your heart. Breathe. One or two more full rounds. This is a hard pose. Let yourself be with discomfort. Be with a challenge. Slowly come back to a high mountain. So start to come back, release your left foot, both arms to the sky. Spiral your pinky fingers in, feel into neutral. One more inhale. Slow dive, exhale all the way down. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, move through your vinyasa. We're just taking a vinyasa before we do that balance on the other side. And back to down dog in your own time, no rush. Walk it out. Good job, friends. Big inhale into your dog pose. Gaze forward, step or hop, top of your space, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in and lengthen. Exhale, fold, ha. Root through your feet, rise up. Arms reach up, stretch. Hands to heart, exhale. All right, last balancing pose. Twisted dancer on our left foot. So left foot is your base, bend your right knee. Reach your left hand back, find your foot. Once you've got it, see if you can come back into your best alignment. So hugging towards midline, roll your left shoulder back and down. Right arm to the sky. Maybe you want to stay right here, perfectly fine. Otherwise, find that little bend in your standing leg. Start to hinge at your left hip. Keep squeezing through your inner thighs. Kick foot in the hand, pull hand back in the foot. This pose is so hard and so uncomfortable. See if you can be with that, breathe into that. You're falling in and out. Meet yourself right there. One or two more breaths. Yes. Awesome, Kim. Slowly, mindfully back to high mountain. So release your foot, arms to the sky. One last time. Neutral pelvis, neutral spine as you reach up. Inhale. Dive down. Exhale. Ah. Nice job, friends. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, vinyasa your way. See you back in down dog. Stops. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Right shin to the top of your mat, pigeon pose. So right knee towards the outer right edge of your mat. 
Pull your right hip back, left hip forward. Plug the femur bones into the hip sockets. Keep pulling your right hip back to bow forward. Big deep breaths. I'll come around with a little essential oil spritzy. If you do not want it on you or near you, just give me a little raise of your hand. So see if rather than avoiding the sensation you feel, see if you can actually move towards it, soften around it, breath by breath. About five more rounds. Last couple rounds, open your mouth, sigh it out if you'd like. Uh... Slowly, bottom of your next exhale, start to lift your upper body. However you want to find your way back to down dog, start your journey back to downward facing dog. So any movement you want to take to kind of neutralize in between sides, the vinyasa, some cat cows, some nice movement through your right leg, shake it out or open your hip, anything goes. And eventually down dog and just walk it out. Ha. Just let each of you in your own time find your way into pigeon on the left side. So no hurry. In your own time, set yourself up and settle in breath by breath. Take a few more rounds, big deep breath.
I'll leave it up to you ultimately. So just when you feel pretty much even on both sides, you can start one last transition back to downward facing dog, no hurry. However you want to get back to your down dog. Maybe you want one last vinyasa. Now would be your time to take it. Maybe instead of down dog, you choose to take a child's pose. That's fine. Wherever you have chosen to be, wherever you've chosen to end up here, give yourself a couple more rounds, just feeling into all the length and space you've created in your body, ah, softening into it. And then however you would like to get there, find your way all the way down onto your back. You can face whichever direction you want to. Yes. Just like at the very beginning of our practice, hug your knees in, gently rock it out. This time we'll set up for a bridge pose. And if upward facing bow, a full back bend is in your practice and you want to take it, feel free. I will cue for bridge. So feet on the ground with knees bent, arms down by your sides. Feet are hip width distance apart. All of your toes face forward and your feet, or I should say your ankles are pretty much straight down from your knees. It's not in front of your knees. On an exhale, See if you can feel your belly button draw down and your tailbone scoop up. So feel a posterior pelvic tilt. And then as you inhale, peel your spine off your yoga mat, vertebra by vertebra. Once you get to the top of your bridge, take about five breaths, whatever variation you would like. So you can work your uh, shoulders underneath you, kind of shimmy them underneath you, interlace your fingers. You could take robot arms. You could lift and lower your butt like I sometimes teach, like Jason used to teach. And again, if you want to go for your full back bend at any point, feel free. Just do it with awareness, intention. See if you can feel your breath down in your belly. If you're in bridge, press especially into heels and inner edges of your feet. Press down through the back of your head. Good job, friends. And those of you who are still in bridge, stay in bridge, but work your shoulders out from underneath you and reach your arms straight up towards the sky. Take one more inhale, see if you can lift your hips a little bit higher. Keep reaching your arms up as slow as you possibly can. One vertebra at a time, roll your spine back down. Once your spine is back in neutral, tee out your arms or cactus your arms against the ground. Walk your feet out to the width of your yoga mat. Keep your knees bent. And just windshield wiper your knees from side to side. Slowly, mindfully, breath by breath. Feel into your low back and your pelvis and your hips. Eventually, let your knees fall to the right. An option to bring the outer edge of your right foot to the outside of your left knee or thigh, and use your right foot to encourage your left leg forward and down. Yeah, yeah. I'm super tight right here. Uh, 
Good job, friends. And as you are ready, just switch to the other side. Same option. And I'll just leave it up to you when you feel pretty even on both sides. Come back to center. It might feel nice to come back to that constructive rest position, letting your knees just fall in for a moment, breathing there, feeling the space in your low back and your pelvic bowl. Maybe a happy baby would feel good. Maybe there's an inversion you like to end your practice with. So give yourself about five to 10 rounds of breath to just move through any finishing poses you would like. And if you want to go straight into your Shavasana, that is absolutely fine with me as well. So as you settle into your Shavasana, I'll read to you. This is one of my favorite little excerpts by Jeff Foster. It says, we've all had at least a taste of it, the falling away of everything. It can happen anywhere at any time during a walk through the park or while listening to your favorite piece of music or perhaps while looking into the eyes of a loved one. All past and future fall away. All ideas of a future attainment, a future happiness, a future enlightenment simply dissolve into the vast open space which embraces everything. In that falling away, there is a simplicity an intimacy, a freedom without a name. It is totally beyond words, and yet it's as obvious as breathing. It's a glimpse into what you really are beyond any story about who you are. So these last few moments, let your breath become effortless. Let your body just rest. Let go of needing to be anywhere else for anybody else but here for yourself. Give yourself these last few moments to just soak in the efforts of your practice. 
And also, as I play my bowls, see if you can allow the vibrations, the frequencies to just resonate within you. Notice what comes, notice what goes, and just let it. So just like an un just like an uncomfortable yoga pose, if at any point the sound feels too intense, it feels like too much, see if you can breathe into it, soften around it. Maybe take some big open mouth sighs. So imagine your body as just a great big wide open space for all forms of energy to move through. Shavasana.
Take a deep breath in and let it go. And just wiggle through fingers and toes. And to ready, roll to either side, fetal position. And take one last moment, just resting on your side body. Breathing into your back body and really let your practice, let that sound bath soak in. Using the strength in your arms, start to guide yourself up into a seat. So seated meditation, just facing forward, eyes closed, hands gathered to your heart center. And just take one last moment, bow your head to your own heart and acknowledge yourself for showing up here today, taking time to slow down, to tune in, to do your practice. Thank you for letting me guide you. Namaste. All right, friends. Do you need to get out of here, Jane? I can roll it up for you. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, I know. I think Abby, too. <laughs> You're Esteban. He, need us. he needs you. Mm -hmm. Really well. oh, no. oh no, dang. They're like, Grandma, Grandma, we need you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're bolster. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mom, love you.